Hello everyone, thanks so much for logging on to CBS News Colorado. It is time for your CBS News Colorado Daily Sports Line, brought to you as always by BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. Coming off a good night last night, I told you yesterday that I liked the Nuggets team total under 118 and a half. I knew it would be close. It finished at 113, and I'll be honest, after the first quarter, I was a little bit worried that they were going to blow right past that and end up at like 125, 130 or something silly. Uh, but we get our bet, it cashes, and so we're off to a good start here for the week ahead. Um, the other thing we're keeping an eye on, by the way, and regarding the Denver Nuggets, they're over under for win totals. We are on the over at 47 and a half. They're currently at 45 and they have six games to go. So we need them to win three, at least three of those next six games. They've got a matchup tomorrow against the Pacers and they got the Timberwolves, two against the Lakers, the Spurs and the Grizzlies rounding out the season there. Um, so look, I think that we're gonna get this. Fingers crossed though, we're gonna be sweating that. Cause remember we made that bet thinking that Michael Porter Jr. was gonna be healthy all season and that Jamal Murray might be coming back. The fact that they still have a chance to get that is really pretty impressive. So the fact that our bet is alive and out there gives us something to sweat and uh, pretty good uh, on us to be on that over. As for what we're looking at tonight, the Avs visiting the Calgary Flames. The Avs are the underdog in this one and really no surprise when you consider they are playing without Nathan McKinnon and without Gabe Landeskog. The over under for tonight is six goals and the Avs to win is at plus 125. But here's the deal. No McKinnon, no Landis Gog means no bet for me on this game. If you want to play Calgary, I don't blame you. This will be the third time these two teams have played. The Avs won the first two games. But again, no McKinnon, no Landis Gog, no bet. Some things to consider when you look at this game. Calgary allows the second fewest goals in the NHL this year, and they score the fifth most. This is a really good Calgary team. They are tops in their division. I'm a little bit worried about the Avs right now and the way that they're playing. I think they're coasting to the finish line here. Nathan McKinnon's hand injury is really kind of scary. If that ends indeed what it ends up being, it's listed as upper body. We think it's the hand after that fight on Saturday, or excuse me, on Sunday night. I'm worried about the Avs here. We'll see how they finish, but no bet for me on that game. Of course, I'm not going to leave you hanging though, right? I do have a best bet for you. I'm going to go Rockies. Season win total over 68 and a half wins. Now I will fully admit I may be drinking the Kool-Aid here, right? I was just down at spring training. And as I've said multiple times on air, hope springs eternal in spring training. The Rockies think they're gonna be better than they were last year. They think their rotation is going to be good. They feel like if their rotation can stay healthy, their offense is going to be better. And I tend to agree with all of those sentiments. So I'm going to go Rockies over 69 or 68 and a half wins. I think they get to 69. Remember last year, this number was even lower than that. And they finished with 74. I think they get more offensive firepower. I think if their rotation stays healthy, I'm not saying they have a shot at winning the division. They might be in the hunt for a wild card though. I think this team is going to be better than people think. Give me the Rockies over 68 and a half wins for your best bet for Tuesday, March 29th and your CBS News Colorado daily sports line brought to you as always by BetMGM. Place your parlays, profits, and futures at the King of Sportsbooks. Download the app today.